Oh, yeah, morning world, Sippy Trev here. So I've, uh, I'm just starting to do it, the tear down on the bike and I thought I'd better bring you guys along. So uh, yeah, roll the intro. Hi, Sippy Trev here and welcome to my channel. Um, hope you get something out of it. Right here, well, Sippy Trev here. So I've just started uh, pulling the bike down. Uh, first step, drain the fuel, get those tanks empty. And at the moment, I've already started draining the oil out of the um, tank and I'm going to pull the filter off the front shortly as well and I want to see if there's any metal filings or anything in that oil. I want to see if it's clean or how dirty it is to see if I can get any idea of what actually went wrong uh, internally. I've just took it for a quick ride around the block. Oh, the bike goes. Fuck. Seriously, it goes. Straight up to fucking 60 mile an hour, not a problem, but there is, um, uh, when you hit the power, there's definitely a knocking noise. Um, if you back off the accelerator, the throttle, um, the noise goes away. It's only when it's under load or you're actually, you know, you're, you're cruising. So I did have a bit of a listen around the bike too. I'm actually not convinced of being bottom end. I've got to, it just, it's starting to sound more top end at the moment. So anyway, um, I'm draining the oil at the moment. I'm cleaning the oil tank out. I'm going to uh, get the filter off, which is usually pretty bloody difficult and I might even just cut that filter open to see if I can find any filings or anything in there that shouldn't be there. And we'll see how we go for there. So, um, yeah, let's get to work. Okay, worlds. So, I've just checked the oil filter. I don't know what you can... So in the bottom of the oil here, you can see, looks like lots of little gold fragments. Let's get that out of the sun. So this looks like lots of little gold fragments, which is more likely brass, which is more likely <coughs> the bottom end bearing on the, on the crankshaft. So whoever said it was a bottom end bearing, I think, um, yeah, look at, look at all that, I don't know if you can see, look at all that shiny metal in the bottom there. Look at that. <coughs> so, I don't know if you can see all the shiny metal. Ah, that's a pretty good sign. That the bloke got it right. So we can be uh, probably fairly sure this is going to be a throwaway motor or the uh, cost of a rebuild will be quite extreme. Uh, I've got the oil, I've done the oil, oh shit, jeez it's looking more and more like a big end bearing, absolutely. That's a handy screen that one, that's off, um, it's off the um, bus toilet roof as a vent. Good for screening oil and stuff, very handy. Okay, so at this point in time, from what I can tell, um, with those gold metal filings, it's definitely going to be a bottom end bearing. But I'm still going to go ahead and pull that front pot down and see exactly where we're at. Rightio, I'm just going to finish stripping these fuel tanks off. Rightio, so that's the tanks off. That's the tanks off. Next step, uh, I've got to take these spark plug covers off if I, I don't even know if they come off so um, get them out I'm going to pull the plug out and then I'm going to roll the wheel over and um, see if I can find any up and down movement inside the um, inside the bores there before I pull the whole top end off but I'll be doing that, that has to come off there's no doubt about it um, Sure, how to pull the carvings off this one. Now we just stage after that. Oh, yeah, These are, the chrome's all pitted and shit. Maybe I'll give that a good clean. Oh, yeah, so this horn will have to come off. 
All right, I've got a few things to ta start tearing off before um, I find out what's going on inside the bike. Oh, yeah. Okay, so well done. I'm, uh, I'm not going to film pulling all that shit down. You don't really need to see all that. There's nothing really interesting there. It's just standard stuff, pull, just pulling nuts and pieces off and um, so forth. Although I should probably film some of my own use, not to go on YouTube, just so I know how I took things off and how they go back together. So but anyway, um, I'll catch you when I've um, stripped a few more things off the bike. Oh yeah, world. So we're back. Stripped a bit more of the bike down. This is number one plug. I don't see this plug is the sootiest shit. That's not how a plug should look. That's sooty, that's just not rich, that's sooty. So I'll show you where we're at. That's the front one. So I've stripped down the side of the bike. There's all the bits and pieces over here. There's my carby, brackets. Horn, air filtering pieces, tank, uh, tank bits pieces. There, that these are the um, top spark plug covers. They're actually quite cool. Look at that. So they just go over your spark plugs and make sure quite you don't have any spark plugs. But anyway, so yeah, the bike's all pulled down this far. So I've got to take the intake manifold off, and then we start getting to the top end of the bike. Right yeah, so that front plug was pretty grotty, <laughs> like really sooty. Let's see what this one looks like. I'm expecting it to be, there's even oil. So the bike wasn't blowing smoke. Yeah, see, she's pretty sooty too. Like she's running rich. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So it's definitely bottom in because when I bring I bring this up, the piston up. I can push down on it and push the corner on down. This is a this motor is fucked. She's gone. And there's nothing I can do to save this motor. Absolutely nothing. It's not even worth pulling it down. Not really. Oh right, yeah, well, that's where we're at. It's definitely bottom end. Um, as I was just saying, I bring the piston up and I can push the screwdriver down. I can actually push that piston down a good couple of mil. Um, so that's definitely telling me the bottom end of this motor is completely toast. There was that one's solid, front pot solid, but I can push this one down a couple of mil, which means um, this motor's toast. It's a throwaway motor. Um, whether it's even worth pulling it down anymore or whether I just go out and buy another motor right now. But it does mean I have to pull all this off. I have to strip out the primary. Um, take all this off. Yeah, she's... Uh, that is definitely where we're at. This motor's toast. Definitely a big end. Right, yeah, well, to my boy with the rest of it, I'll work out whether I'm going to start stripping the primary off it now and getting the motor out, or whether I go to the effort of actually pulling the top end off the bike and seeing, well, we know we know it's fucked. So, whether it's worth pulling the top end off or not. Actually, I wouldn't mind seeing what size pistons are in here and then you can see if any other work had been done, um, whether that's worth mucking around with or not. Sad day. No knees in the breeze for me for quite a while. Later, worlds. Running our world, so. Top end is off. Let's drop these legs down a little bit closer in there. Alright, 
so there seems to be a lot of side to side piston movement. It's also up and down on the crank. You can hear it. But that is an awful lot of side to side movement. And that's the piston on the con, con rod. I'm sure they're not supposed to have that much movement. Now the con rod's actually moving as well. Let's see if I can bring that up a bit. Using the starter. I see one pop that up, up the top dead center there a little bit. Whoa. That's a lot of side to side movement on that piston. I don't know what bore size it is. And she's definitely uh she's definitely been worked. I might get the drill onto that and just have a bit of a whatever. head looks like it's been it's had some work done to it I reckon they're bigger than standard size valves myself I don't know what measurements they are what standard is but they look pretty so the heads actually look in quite good condition nothing actually looks that old there's some markings there 60e it says front there's definitely been a part that someone stamped front in the um, it's got a number four stamp on there. It's got a number four, a front F stamp there. There was no O-rings here. The front head bolt was loose as buggery. I never got that tight, whether that was um, a cause for anything or not. That's the way it goes, exhaust to the front. This head looks like it's had some work done to it. I have no idea what sort of work it's had done to it, but it does look like it had, has had work done to it. Um, she's a top end breather this one, this motor. Anyway, anyway Worlds, so that's the, the top end of the motor pulled down completely. Um, so the guy diagnosed that down at Naranda, he was dead right, that's the bottom end bearing gone and whatever. Why this piston has so much side to side slot, I have no idea. That should not, be, that's not normal either. So, this motor is basically toast. Um, I don't know how much it would cost to uh, rebuild this motor, the bottom end of this motor. I've got no idea what it would be worth. Um, I don't know these things. Um, it had adjustable push rods in it that were marked. So Someone did actually spend some money on this bike at some stage doing the motor up, but who knows how long ago. And uh, anyway, she failed. So anyway, world, as I said before, no knees in the breeze for me for a while until I come up with a second-hand motor. Cheers, worlds, later. Bye.